We are at Ashtemo Township Park today, and we have, ooh, I almost missed that. I actually tried to make this video yesterday, but I lost a couple discs. Whoops. So we've got the cicada with us. We had a river we we're gonna compare it to, but we'll start off throwing this whole one, 250 feet, way long of a disc for this hole. So we're gonna try to finesse it down there. Yeah, it's held too straight, too long, but that's kind of what we thought that disc was gonna do. We've got an end of a dark rebel. We'll see how it compares to that. This is kind of like the old S-Line FD. Kind of the same stability, a little bit long. Horrible shot to start off, but we'll see if we can't capitalize on just a big putt. Oh, that looked like it phased right through the basket to me. Just short. Gotta love missing those easy putts. Hole two here, we're gonna do a little flip up forehand with it. See how it holds up. Ooh, definitely turned left a good bit more than I thought it would. I'll try it against the Rebel again. Ah, it's still turning right over. All right, some people are waiting on me, so we're just gonna do a quick little layup. So far, it's feeling exactly like an FD, just in C-line plastic, well, Discraft's version, so the Z. 192 foot hole. No way to throw this at its intended speed without going flying past. We're gonna hit this stupid gap on the left. It's like six feet wide, skip up at the basket. Well, we hit the first gap. Try it with a leopard. It's just pushing way too far. Yeah, at least do that like 250. And that's like what's dangerous for me when I'm trying to hit a gap, especially with a higher speed disc, I can't do it. I just throw way too hard. I mean, I hit the gap, but like I blast it. I have to go find that one. A little layup. Let's see if I can't find that leopard now that just sailed past. We're looking at about 314, 315 feet, but so far uphill. Let it leak right, but it flipped up. I like that. I'm gonna try that dark rebel again. Do it on a similar line, hoping we could watch it and yeah, got all the way up there. I'm happy with that rip. I keep saying the only Discraft disc I like is the zone, but this isn't too bad. It's just an FD though. I think I'd probably just stick with my FD. Oh, right off the chains. I hope I got that well. Oh, not enough angle. Mind if I just throw a second one real fast? In the fairway. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it, but I wanted that way more high as a... Oh, well in the interest of just using this one disc. Ooh, cut a rock. Well, probably should have thrown this a little bit higher. There's a lot of sticks right here that just kind of ate it up. Make a big putt though. And then we take those. We managed to save the power there with the big putt, thankfully. Looking at way too much disc for this hole. We're gonna again go cicada, a little forehand. Just try to get a little skip ace. Well, we didn't get the skip. We put it way too high. We'll be a backside circle one putt. For funsies, we'll do the leopard three as well. Oh, they just want to turn so fast. Really? I mean, I guess it was a little high, right? Hole seven is one of the first ones we can actually try to push a little bit of distance on. So we'll go for the hyzer flip up the middle. Hopefully it's gonna carry really straight. If we get a lot of turn, we might end up in a little bit of trouble. Just about whether or not I can hit this angle right, because I really don't know the angle to hit it on yet, because it's still so new to me and I haven't really put a lot of power on it yet. Good kick, did not get the uh, flip up I was hoping. We're gonna try that. Star Rebel here. Well, definitely not where I wanted to be, but I didn't trust it to be stable enough. I put it on way too much hyzer, and now we're left. Thankfully, we got the kick and can hopefully get this. This is like my kryptonite of shots, though.
I mean, it's my smoothest shot I have in the game. Gotta put a little bit more time in with it on the backhand, but so far, I'd say the forehand's feeling pretty strong. I'm liking it and understand what it's gonna do. If any of you know my Osh demo holes, I'm always trying to ace this with a mid-range. I like my MD3 straight at it. We're gonna go for the flip-up forehand with the cicada. See if we can't just get the first ace with this guy. Do it. Oh, we're long of it. I'm gonna try the flip-up leopard three. I like the uh, power on that a little better. Ooh, we went way deep in here. We are edge of C2. Let's see if I can not knock the camera over again. Oh, right at it. Hole nine is 408 feet and it's all the way past that deep set of trees that's guarding in the middle there. I don't think I'm getting a cicada there if I try, it's way uphill. The cicada is right in that FD slot, that leopard three slot. It's kind of really similar. I've got a mantis here. I'll try to throw in this hole as well if we get time. Of course, it's a little backed up. I might end up doing just one here. To have a Z plastic FD, kind of like it. Ooh, what a kick. I gave that way too much hyzer. We'll try the Mantos. Really similar flight. Gonna be right in a similar spot. Hopefully it's a good tree kick too. Nah, just off to the left, but whatever. So the Mantis was just off to the left, about 50 feet. So it got about the same distance. I just fluffed the heck out of that. So for the lack of content this last couple weeks here, well, your boy had a tournament this past weekend that he was kind of getting ready for slash competing in. Walking down the fairway at 10, realizing that I just forgot to film three shots off the tee pad. None of them were anything worth watching, but... Well, the servo was like 15 feet behind me right here, so pretty similar shots. Let's see if we can't slam this big putt home. About 40, 45. Cage. Sometimes... You're just destined to miss your putts all day. I'm not even feeling off. I feel like they're firing out of my hand probably better than they have lately. Not going in though. If you take a look all the way down there, you might see a guy out on the left. That's right about 300 feet and I need to be getting there with a fade pushing forward. We're gonna go for the forehand flip up. Like I was saying about the tournament though, it was absolutely brutal. First round we shot even, which actually set us up pretty well. Even was one back from the lead. Leader being of course one down. Needed the height. We're gonna get a lot of the forward movement, but we needed the height on that shot. And if a dark rebel. Get it. Thank you. Not really ever mad to just being right up on top up here. See if we can't do something fun. Go in. Whew, just behind it. As I was saying, get ourselves one back from the lead, lead card, and now in the first hole, we take par. He takes par. Second hole, I take bird, he takes par. And just like that, we're all tied up. Usually I go for the big turnover, but this disc is not the right one. I'm gonna forehand flip up. Oh, that hit that last tree. Not 100% sure you guys could see the tail end of that flight as it got way to the left side, but we got caught up in these branches right above me here. We were looking to cruise right into about C1, but now deep C3. Oh, come on. Easy tap in three. Can't complain about these. Oh, get up. One more real fast. That should be good. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Well, the Dark Rebel was pretty much parked. And I want to say I flipped up the same amount the cicada was going to. I just didn't give the cicada any time to. Just tap this in for, woo. Just tap this in for three. Drivers always go in within 10 feet. That's my number one putting tip. For if you've got the yips, just throw a driver within 10 feet. We're gonna go for the big, Hard turnover pull, get all the way down there. That should be it. Get all the way down there. Yes. Well, it's definitely not the best drive I've ever had on this hole. 
This is not a bad drive. This is 360 foot, just big old turnover. We got the putt for the two. About 40, 45. Get up. Yeah, right under it. That's it. Three's never a bad score on this hole. Not gonna complain about it. Not today. So anyways, where was I? We make it through round one, we're playing even. Get on the lead card. We get our, our first par, birdie birdie. We've got the lead. Throughout the rest of the match, throughout the rest of the round, we go back and forth a couple times for who's in the lead, ending up with four holes to play. And I'm down by two. Ah, yes. Best kick ever. Didn't commit to that shot at all. Try it again. A little bit high for the ace run, but that should be a putt. But so with four holes left, and the weather honestly hadn't been too bad the rest of that round, we pull out of the woods. And when we get out of the woods, boy, do we find the storm. All of a sudden there's like, I wanna say 40 mile an hour winds, 500 mile an hour winds, something like that. Actually looking, realistically, we were looking at like, oh, 20, 30 mile an hour gusts. It was raining straight sideways. It's a 360 foot up and over a knoll. And we decide we gotta go for this. Oh, just do it. Long. God, chains. Flashing the chains over and over again, just long. And so we're looking at a stiff head right and I have to throw up and over this knoll so I know I'm gonna be getting it a little bit nose up just cause I have to throw it so far straight up. Not entirely unhappy. The disc has been popping out of my hand real well today. So we're gonna take that. It's a good sign that the putting is back on its way to being on track. With the wind and everything effectively making me do a 360 foot spike hazard. It's about all I got distance wise for that shot. So we go for it, we put it up there and instantly do I realize I do not have my more stable C-Line DD3 with me. I have my kind of flippy one and it flips right up, pushes straight out into the woods and there's a four. Flip a forehand with this disc has been feeling money. I'm actually quite liking it. Oh, got a little bit straight on me there. I'm gonna try the servo. I think it might be a little bit more stable. It was, and it held that hyzer all the way around. Well, this is not the kick we needed. Hole two is a really, really easy birdie, but I decided I need the ace on it because first or last. And of course, I go cruising by it and we take the three. And at that point, that's it. We go into the wide open hole next, again, trying to throw it in. I put it 40 feet long. We go ahead and hit the par putt. And then the last hole of the tournament, we chain out for birdie, netting us third place overall. Oh, that's looking so good. That was, that was real smooth. Well, you guys aren't gonna see where that last one landed because you won't believe this, but I'm going to throw a second shot and out of the corner of my eye, I see a kid run out and grab my disc and it looks like take off with it. So I just grab all my stuff and take off down the hill. Managed to get it back though. So no harm, no foul. Just that would have been a great review right at the end. Like, and I lost it. Anyways, as I was saying, we ended up taking third for the tournament. Not upset about that at all. Perfect. Now just get off that last tree. Damn. Do a river, same shot. See, river's a little straighter. The cicada is Discraft's new FD, and in the Z plastic, I'm loving it for that flip up straight shot. 